Hi everybody, um, what we're going to do today, um, we're going to show this absolutely beautiful example of this Waterman's uh, number 45 Waterman's Ideal Safety Pen. It's not a repair video, what I'm actually going to do, I'm actually going to show you the, the insides of the pen before I actually assemble it and then we'll show you the pen totally assembled but for a lot of people um, I, only, you know, I do actually believe that they're, they're interested in having a look at what's inside these particular pens so let's go through it what we have here is the cap and as you can see it's a short cap um, the cap on these particular pens actually acts as a stopper as well to um, stop any leakage of ink once the pen is actually all assembled um, what we have here is the the barrel incidentally the pen has been totally cleaned internally um, I've given it a slight polish I've actually there was some slight discolouring to this particular pen which we've got rid of most of the discolouring and it's a lovely a lovely black now okay so it's been thoroughly cleaned um, hopefully you can see the imprint there and what the imprint actually reads is Waterman's Ideal Fountain Pen um, New York USA um, August the 4th 1903 and then right to the bottom which again I'm hoping you can see it simply says safety pen okay so there's the barrel at the end of the barrel what we have is this if you like this packing holder okay which um, basically just screws into the end of the barrel there inside the um, the packing holder what we'll actually be doing is installing um, a new a new cork washer um, that'll be going inside the packing uh, the packing holder incidentally before I have any comments from people I know you can actually get these new o-rings now but the customer has specifically asked me um, to install an original cork washer which is what I'm going to do so you can actually use these new rubber the the new rubber o-rings um, to the end of the packing holder what you have is this um, uh, knob if you like or screwing uh, section that actually sits inside the packing packing holder like that and once the pen is all assembled this is the knob that is used to turn the internals which actually uh, makes the um, makes the nib go in and out of the barrel now at the end of this particular knob here incidentally what, what you have inside well we'll show you that in a moment um, inside what we have um, is this what they term as a nib carrier okay I'm hoping you can actually see that nice and clear and then obviously what happens inside we place the um, the ink well the feed if you like inside the nib carrier and then obviously um, on top of that what we'll do is we'll place the the gold the gold nib um, incidentally it's the nib on this particular one is the original nib um, let's see if we can actually show it to you um, what the nib actually reads is Waterman's Ideal uh, Reg USA uh, Pat Office it's a number 5 nib and down to the bottom there it has Made in USA okay so eventually that will sit on top of the feed inside um, this nib carrier now the nib carrier then <coughs> well inside the nib carrier then it actually sits inside this particular um, unit here now this is a, a spiral uh, spiral unit or some people call it the helix and in effect what happens is the nib unit sits inside like so and just to the bottom here um, what we have is this this plastic locking pin okay so I'm hoping you can actually see the pin there so the pin will actually sit inside the spiral or the helix 
holding um, holding this particular um, nib carrier in place. Now, once the locking pin is inside the the spiral or the helix case there, um, what actually happens then? This particular model is actually one of the earliest um, Waterman safety pens, and the pin here actually sits inside there we go you can actually see it to the sides of the barrel inside you can see two channels and the pin actually aligns inside them two channels and allows um, the 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 nib carry if you like to move up and down and the nib actually works in and out of the the barrel well to the top there okay so basically that's that, that's basically the pen. Incidentally as well, once um, this particular spiral shaft or whatever gets replaced inside the packing holder like so and then it, it, it actually pushes inside the turning knob to the end here. Now what you've actually got inside the turning knob to the top here I'm hoping you can actually see it. You can actually see there, there's actually, it looks like a sort of moon shape, but the round little section there is actually a wedging pin. And that wedging pen pin aligns in, well, for the shaft there, you can see it has this particular groove to the end of the shaft. And that shaft aligns inside the wedging pin there so it allows it then to sit nice and tight inside the turning knob and allows it to turn the the spiral or this helix section uh, nice and simple or nice and easily should I say um, and basically that that's it ladies and gentlemen what I'm actually going to do now is I'm actually going to put the new um, the new coat washer inside the packing holder there and then what we're going to do is we're, we're going to actually assemble the pen and then what I'll actually do is I'll come back and show you the pen fully assembled. As I say this is not a repair video because um, this, this particular pen which I date very early 1900s so it's, it's basically a hundred year old pen and the likes of these particular parts like this particular spiral section, the pins uh, the nib carrier etc they're all very very fragile and to be quite honest with you um, well well if you feel you can actually do it yourself then fine but what I do I actually recommend that you send it to somebody who knows what they're doing um, to service your particular safety pen so it's not a repair video all I'm doing is just showing you the insides of the pen before I show you the pen fully assembled but just for now um, I'll just say bye bye for now and we'll pop back when I've assembled the pen and we'll show it to you um, fully assembled so just for now I'll just say bye bye okay so here we have it now the pen has been uh, fully reassembled and what a absolutely beautiful beautiful example ladies and gentlemen it's an absolutely it's in excellent condition for a pen that is nearly, well, maybe actually a hundred years old. But there we have it. This is the Waterman Ideal Safety Pen number 45. As we showed you before, you can actually see that it's got this uh, quite a short cap. Um, actually, the cap, just inside, inside the cap, there's actually a flat section that sits flush against the top of the barrel there and in effect what that actually is supposed to do is actually shut off or uh, stop the ink uh, from within the barrel actually leaking so there's actually a little the, the cap if you like acts as a shut off cap as well for the ink uh, inside the barrel um, as we showed you before the pen has had a new uh, a new coat washer in the packing holder that's been resealed uh, into the to the barrel of the pen the um, the end turning knob has been reinstalled and if we show you the end um, the end here um, I'm hoping you can actually see that but what you can actually see to the top there is the number 
the number 45 and it still retains some of the red paint to it. Um, what you can hopefully see as well is the the wedging pin which is sat or wedged into the the shaft um, of the innards there as well okay so you can actually see the wedging pin and you can see the shaft uh, just to the center of the turning knob at the end um, how the pen actually works um, in effect what you actually do once the um, the nib is actually retracted back into the barrel at this point what you do is use an airdropper or a bulb filler and you'd actually drop ink into the barrel at this particular point here once the uh, the nib is retracted back into into the barrel to use the pen what you'd actually do then is just simply turn turn the end knob here and what that will actually do there ladies and gentlemen you can see that the um, the nib actually comes out of the barrel like so um, as we said earlier again you've got a number five Waterman's ideal nib there um, you've got the standard uh, Waterman feed underneath there okay and you can obviously see the thread to the section here which holds the cap um, as we showed you before it's got a lovely clear um, barrel imprint along here which we told you about before but all in all ladies and gentlemen an absolutely beautiful beautiful example a really sort of chunky pen um, I'm not actually going to fill the pen up ladies and gentlemen because um, I've done it for a customer um, and it's all clean it's all ready whether they actually want to display the pen or actually physically use it um, that is up to them but it's all been tested um, an absolutely beautiful beautiful example um, what we actually do once we finish writing with the pen what you'd simply do is turn the turning knob at the end here um, a little bit on the squeaky side there because we've put a new coat washer there so that eventually will um, will stop and as you can see the nib now is retracted back into the pen barrel and what you'd simply do now if it was actually full of ink um, you'd simply sc screw the cap onto the top there and in effect that would actually supposedly seal the ink inside the barrel but they actually did recommend that the pen was actually well <laughs> you actually carry it upright um, whether it actually works or not, yeah, I'm, I'm assuming it does. That, that's the way it was designed, so I can see no reason uh, why it shouldn't. But uh, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. I just thought I'd show you the end product. Um, there we have the Waterman number 45 safety pen, fully serviced in absolutely superb, superb condition. A beautiful, beautiful example. So there we have it. I hope you've enjoyed looking at this pen, ladies and gentlemen, as much as I've enjoyed showing it to you. Don't forget, there's plenty more videos on YouTube. Don't be shy, leave a comment. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, I'll just simply say bye-bye now.